Hey everyone, welcome to a new video, welcome to my channel, my name is Maika and today we are going to be talking about the full range of the new Catrice Pro, no, Matte Pro Ink liquid lipsticks. These liquid lipsticks were released by Catrice a few weeks ago, these were not part of their spring summer update but they were released, uh, they were released a little bit later and I bought all 10 shades to try. The reason why I'm only getting around to showing you all of these right now is because these went in and out of stock a lot uh, on the website there that I can buy these from and uh, so it wasn't really worth it placing an order and because we were self-isolating so much. Um, I had to wait until I could go physically to a store where all 10 of these shades would be so I could buy them. So that's what I finally got around to and that means that we can get started with this video. So 10 shades, 8 of them are pinky nudes. Like I kid you not, it seems to be a lot of nude-like shades which fingers crossed whether I will like them. Uh, 10 shades in total, the darkest it will go is this. These are the only like true like colorful shades I would say. So we do get a bright red and we also get this like berry burgundy kind of shade. So we'll see how this will go. I will swatch everything on my hand for you as well as on my lips. So wish me luck. And then uh, hopefully you will get a good idea of what this line has to offer. So let's start with the first shade. And the first shade is 010 Trust Me. And this is the palest shade in the collection. It seems to, but there, there are definitely like some cooler tone shades that I think can actually look lighter on the lips. But with liquid lipsticks, especially the Catrice ones that I've tried, I feel that it's very difficult to tell what something will look like on the lips. So I'm very curious to see. In the tube, it looks like a nudie shade, like a peachy nude. That's how I would describe this. Um, and these are the kind of liquid lipstick that will dry down. So there you have 010 Trust In Me. It's a nice shade, nothing too offensive, maybe a bit pale for what I usually go for. Let's see how this applies. So 010 Trust In Me is definitely a nude, but it's not as light as I thought it was going to be for a lightest shade, like a lowest number in a line. So I think some of the other shades that we have coming up is going to be, uh, are going to be lighter than this one. So Trust In Me is definitely that sort of like peachy pink kind of nude. It feels very creamy when you apply it. And now that I've been like sort of talking to you, I can feel it drying down and it's becoming a bit sticky. And these also have a scent. These smell like cake batter, which I am not a fan of. I have to say that these really sickly sweet kind of smells they're not my favorite. I tend to do my makeup early in the morning. Do I really want to smell this before I go to work when I've just had breakfast? Nah, not really. So uh, just, just know that if you don't like that kind of scent that you may not like that. And it dries down quite quickly. Like the swatch on my hand has already dried down. Um, so um, I will definitely also be including a wear test of the darkest shade, like the last one that I put on. I will see if this really holds up for 12 hours as it promises to do. And yeah, it goes really, you see that, it goes really tacky right now. Moving on to the second shade, and this is 020, Confidence is Key. And this is a lot more pinky, like, yeah, this is a lot more pink than the other one. The other one definitely looked more peachy. This I would describe as a warm tone pink. That's what it looks like in the tube. So let's see how it swatches. Ooh, yeah, this has a lot more orange to it than the other one. Do you see how this is, like, this is a bit deeper. Uh, that's also dry down, so it could be that it dries down a bit darker. Uh, but this shade veers towards coral. Like, it's not a coral, but it starts to look like coral, if you know what I mean. So that is what 020 Confidence is Key is, looks like on me. It's definitely not my kind of shade and I really like the creamy formula that it has but I had an issue on this side of my lip where it just really sort of pushed to the side a little too much which is why that line I just couldn't get it very neatly done and I also feel that this is a little sheer almost like I had a 
hard time making this go on opaque. The only option I would have is to apply more, but because it's quite a creamy, thicker texture, I don't want to apply too much. And this is definitely drying down really quickly again. It has that tackiness to it. I do like how pre precise the doe foot on this is. So you get a really nice precise applicator. So I'm hoping that that will be good when we get to some of the darker shades as well. So not my favorite shade, also not my favorite formula. I definitely like that first one a lot better. Moving on to shade number 030, and this is called, this is Attitude. And this has my name written all over it. It, look like, it looks like a brown toned, sort of nudie red shade almost. And I love those kind of shades. I am a fan of darker nudes, you know that about me. So let's see what it swatches like. Ooh, look at that. I really like that kind of shade. Like this kind of shade, I can get down with. There we have 030, this is Attitude, and oh my. This is a gorgeous shade. It is that sort of deepish, reddish kind of tone. What this reminds me of a lot is Kat Von D's Lolita, if you're familiar with that kind of shade. And they also did a shade in that line called Double Dare, I believe. I think that it's even a closer dupe to that, but this is definitely that sort of like brownie, nudie kind of shade, I think. This looks gorgeous. This is absolutely gorgeous. And this also feels a bit more velvety almost, where the other ones felt very tacky as they dry down. This has that like, you know how some liquid lipsticks can feel like very velvety when they dry down? That's what this one has, so I really like it. What I don't like is that this packaging, if you want to twist it all the way shut, it doesn't line up with the actual liquid lipstick. So with this one, I feel it's still closed when I turn it back, but I just want it to, when you screw it back together to just, you know, the last like little bit that it lines up, I just, it's pet peeve, pet peeve. I know details. Then moving on to 040, and this is a shade called Braveness Wins. And this, I think may be a lot lighter than that first shade. This looks like a very pale, peachy nude kind of shade. Not my favorite usually, so we'll see how it goes. Let's see what it swatches like first of all. Oh yeah, this is light. Ooh, no. This is this is like verging on that like very light sort of cool tone Barbie pink. This is quite a like if you like that sort of thing, I'm sure that you know some people will like it, but it's definitely not gonna look the best on me. However, I'm wearing smoky eyes today. And then these kind of shades can work quite well. It's why I went for this eye look, because I felt that it would go with a lot of nudes. Um, so <laughs> let's see what this shade looks like on. No, this is not my kind of shade, you guys. It's a little bit too light. I also felt it was a bit too sheer for me. I've got naturally quite pigmented lips. So when I wear a shade like this, my natural, more like purpley lip color shines through and it just clashes really badly. So on me, it's just not the best. It kind of makes me look very sort of deadly pale, I think. Um, so this is not the best one, but I, I know a lot of people like these kind of shades. So 040, if you're looking for like a peachy nude, uh, braveness wins, then this may be your cup of tea, but it's definitely not mine. Then we have shade 050, and this is My Life, My Decision. And this seems to be a more cool-toned, light pinky shade, which I think can be really pretty, um, but it could be a little too pale for me. We have some more cooler pinks coming up right now, so we'll see how this goes. Ooh, that's a lot darker than I had expected from the tube. Do you see that? This is like more like a, mauve pink kind of shade, which I really like. So this may be one I really like. Let's see what it looks like on. All right, so this one again does that little weird like twisty thing where it's not completely lining up with the packaging. I know, pet peeve, 
but it's the details that matters, guys, even if they're only like $3.99 a pop. If it looks like I'm not wearing anything, that's because this shade is my lips but better. So this is actually identical to the shades of my natural lips. So that's why this looks pretty, like this looks a lot better on me than the other shade I was just wearing before this. Um, but My Life, My Decision, My uh, 050 is just the kind of shade that I don't reach for in a liquid lipstick. Because it's so close to my natural lip color, this is the kind of shade that I will wear in a cream lipstick. Like something that's very easy to just like throw on and be out the door. Do I want to go through the effort of applying a liquid lipstick that then dries down for a shade like this? I don't really I don't really think so. So even though I think this is pretty on, I think it deepens a little bit as it dries down and I'm looking at it again in the viewfinder. Um, I mean, this is a gorgeous shade. It works really well with my complexion, but not really one that I know I will be reaching for tons simply because this kind of formula and this kind of shade in my book just don't really need to be a liquid lipstick. Moving on then to shade 060 and this is I Choose Passion which is like a deeper version of the one we just saw so this may be a bit better for me but again nudes I don't really wear as liquid lipsticks. Just saying. So let's see what it swatches like. Ooh. You see that? It has a lot of purple to it. It's definitely a lot brighter than this shade. I hadn't expected that. It looked just to be darker, but it's brighter. It almost, like, now that it's not completely dry yet, it seems to have a bit of, like, a blue, bluish sort of tint to it. Let's see how this one goes. So this is 060 I Choose Passion, and I can't think of what lipstick this reminds me of, but it reminds me so much of another lipstick that I used to love. I think it was like by Ofra, like Charmed by Ofra, and I decluttered that. This is definitely a really lovely shade on me, like especially with this kind of eye, this is really lovely. I definitely thought it looked brighter in the swatch though than it does on my lips. It deepens a lot when it dries down. Um, but this sort of like cool tone mauvey pink, it just works really well on me. So this is a this is a nice one. Again, would I reach for this in a liquid lipstick formula? I don't think so. Next up is one that I'm very very curious about because this is 070 I am unique, and it seems to be if you line them all like up, this seems to be very pale, sort of like cool toned Barbie pink. That's what this looks like to me in the tube. Um, so let's see what it swatches like. Oh, it's very pale. These are never my favorite shades. Oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> it's very sort of plastic fantastic. Um, very cool toned. Definitely a bit of a hint of purple there. Um, let's see what this looks like on. I'm a bit scared of this one. Okay, so it's not awful, but it's also not pretty. Um, and the reason why it's not pretty is because my natural lip color is shining through. <laughs> um, especially here on my bottom lip, I'm not sure you can see it, um, but my natural lip color is just going through and that just means that this is too pale to look good on my complexion. So 070, I am unique, not my cup of tea. Next up, 080 Dream Big, and this looks a lot more like something that could be of my alley. I would describe this as a, like a lighter plum shade. It definitely looks a bit more cool toned, um, but it definitely has a bit more depth to it. So now we're getting to the darker shades, which has me excited. And ooh, it's not a plum. <laughs> oh, here we go. I think it's a plum. It's more like a rosy pink. Like, how is that the same shade? Like, it doesn't even look like it. Like, it looks a lot more plum in the packaging. In the packaging, it just looks a bit more plum than rose. It definitely looks a bit darker now that it has dried down. So, um, maybe it will look a little bit better on my lips than I then had expected because rosy pinks are, again, usually not my favorite thing. So, let's see what this looks like on.
that is unexpected. <laughs> on my lips, this pool's a bit more plum. Like, it's not super duper pink. It definitely has more of like a plummy sort of feel that must be that it does have a bit of plum and that my natural lip color sort of emphasizes that. I feel that lip colors can look so differently on many different people. But yeah, that's what the shade, what's it called again? Dream Big 080 looks like. Shall we just move on to my favorite? This is my statement, 090, a bright classic like red. And it seems to be a pretty bright like blue toned red, which I love. If this works well, you guys, maybe it could be even better than Ofra's Atlantic City. Who knows? This is definitely brighter. Like, it's a really, really bright, like, almost like a neon red. Like, this is super duper bright. Let's see what it looks like on. I say more this is 090 this is my statement this is a red that pulls a bit more towards the like bluish pink toned end of the spectrum which is why it's so bright and popping this is such a fun red for the summertime like this is so so nice I I like it like if this wears well like this could be my new favorite liquid lipstick because these feel so 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 nicely once they you know, they never feel very sort of like super drying on the lips. They definitely feel a bit more hydrating. Like the Essence ones that I tried last month just sucked the life out of my lips. And this does not. It doesn't really emphasize any lines that I have. But it does have that tackiness. And that work that it has me worried a little bit because these have been very easy. Like I'm just using like a makeup wipe to take them off. And it's been very easy to just like wipe them off. However, I haven't let a single one fully dry down before trying to take it off. So that's why it's exciting to see how it will go with the last shade that I'm going to be swatching for you. So that means we, have, we need to move on to this last shade. And this is 100 Courage Code. And it looks to be a darkish red, perhaps a bit more of a plumish berry shade. With this, I feel I don't really know what it's going to look like. This could be a dark red, but it could also be more berry. So let's see what it swatches like. Oh, yeah definitely a berry look at that that's a lot more purple than anything else we have going on here uh, so let's see what it swatches like So that's what 100 Courage Coat looks like. It's definitely like a deeper berry shade. And I feel this goes better with this very cool toned smoky eye than that really bright red. I think that bright red really emphasized the paleness of my skin. This does too, but because I feel the eyes have this like coolish tone to it, and this is a bit more purpley too, I feel it goes better together. Maybe I'm saying something completely strange here, but to me that works better than the straight up like, ooh, classic red. So I'm gonna leave this on for the time being. I have to guess what time it is because I don't have a clock in here and I forgot to check. But I think around the time I sat down to film this video it was like 11. So I'm just going to wear this throughout the day and I will update you throughout the day to see what this looks like on. So check in time, that's what we're doing right now. This lipstick has been on my face for the past three plus hours. I put it on around noon time and uh, it's now just past three o'clock and I've had a bit of lunch, I've had a couple of glasses of water to drink, and it's already wearing down. So I think this is going to be the only check-in that I'm doing for this video because, you know, I definitely don't think that this lipstick is going to look a lot better in a few hours' time. In fact, I think it will only be wearing down worse. So let me hold it up close. Like you can really see my top lip. Also here, my bottom lip, there's like this bold patch. And here around like the edges of my mouth, like a lot of the smudging down here is mainly from all the swatches I was doing. But here, that's definitely new. And also here in the corners of my mouth, like everything has already disappeared. So I would say that this is the kind of liquid lipstick that lasts around the four hour mark. Like if I were to put this on in the morning and then like just do my thing at work, this would need sprucing up around lunchtime. Um, 
And, you know, I mentioned in the video, the first segment of this video, that, you know, I had to wait a little bit to see how it would dry down. I definitely had this on my lips for like a good 45 minutes until I ate or drank anything, because I had a couple of other things I wanted to do before, uh, after filming the first segment, segment of this video. So it's not as if I put that lipstick on and had something to drink or eat like five minutes after I put it on. It was really on there for like a good 45 minutes to really make sure it settled down. It's not wearing down as badly as the Essence ones that I tried last month where it was just like just completely bold patches like and it only got wor or worse and worse and worse and it was smudging all over. Like this is smudging a little bit but not that badly and these still feel very comfortable. These are not super drying or anything like that. These lipsticks stay feeling very very nicely on the lips. And I have to say what I like about these as well is that these could be touched up. So with the Essence ones, because they were so drying, you would just get a color difference between the bit that had been on there for a bit longer and the bit that would be new. And with this, I feel that the, like it's a very pliable formula, if that makes sense. So I feel that if you were to reapply a little bit of lipstick to spruce it up, it will look okay again. So I do think that these lipsticks are nice, it's just, in terms of wear time, they're just not really doing very well. So that's why I am going to take this off now because this is only going to look worse in the next couple of hours. So I'm not gonna leave this any longer on any longer. So no 12 hours of wear time. To be quite honest, I wasn't really expecting that from a Catrice liquid lipstick. I've never had much luck, but the colors, if you like a color in there, um, I mean, then I think that these can be nice, um, but I don't, like, they wear, they have the same wear time as their, like, satin lipsticks. So just take that into account, and then is it worth going through the effort of putting on a liquid lipstick? You know, that's, <laughs> I leave that up to you, definitely. I mean, these are nice, they have a very pleasant texture, they're not super drying on the lips, they feel very comfortable, but that does mean that they don't stay put very well, so... That's just uh, how we're going to end this video, so thank you very much for watching. I hope it was useful to you. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel. If you'd like to see more by me, I make three new videos a week, so I've got lots more content coming your way. Your way. So stay tuned, stay safe, stay healthy. See you in my next video. Bye!